Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today, I am literally in this big redstone world, so, I made this just, and this I kind of just put to, like, fix the hole in the wall, and this I basically put to show that I'm using oak planks, and I used a lot of pistons, redstone, slime blocks, but, um, yeah. So, guys, if you guys would like me to tell you how to do these hacks or these Minecraft hacks, then comment down below. Because if you guys don't, then I will show you nothing. So, for the first one, we have this. And, basically, what happens is this is a leading to a secret base. So, you have this water in a cauldron right here. And then what happens is whenever I take the water out, then this crafting table removes. And then you can just hop right down here to your diamond stash, whatever. I just put those diamonds there. And then whenever you put the water back in the cauldron, super good for a secret base instead of making it out of, like, I don't know, like obsidian. But, um... So yeah, next up on the list is, um, so this one I'm actually going to show you guys how to make. So, um, this is actually meant to be a ping pong table. And what you do to make this is you just put some cobwebs under it. Then, just so that way this will stay. Then you put some iron bars there and there. Same thing on the other side. And put some white wool in the middle. And then, bam, you got yourself a ping pong table. Now, for the next thing here, this is actually meant to be a clock. So, it's made out of trap doors, just so that way you could see this and it wouldn't be thick. And then I just put the clock onto a, um, what is it, item frame. And then, yeah, so I guess a um, zombie and a skeleton died. But, moving on to, guys, this is actually kind of like a cool little simple bunk bed thing. So, yeah, you climb up here, then you got yourself crafting table, um, bookshelf, chest. So this is kind of just like a bunk bed idea for you guys. So first, I'm going to have to get myself a netherite sword because of the um, Minecraft update. And so um, next up on the list is, oh, come on, this rotten flesh is keeping it down. So this door is meant to be the you're not welcome door. So no matter how hard you try running, whenever I step on these pressure plates, it's, this one is literally so simple. It's just going to lead up to that piston and the bottom piston, and then bam. So whenever I try to step on these, this is the you're not welcome door. And so basically the only way that you could do it is if you were in creative mode and then flew through the door. Because any other way that you try it, like, I could run fast as I can in the original Minecraft version, but, okay, shoot. I could run as fast as I can, not in creative, and still not make it, you see? And that's why I called this one the You're Not Welcome Door. So, yeah, that's also a good defense for, like, mobs in your house. Like, you'd have to break these pressure plates to get in. So, all right. Now, moving on to the next one. So, this is kind of just like a really long um, door. Okay, all right, all right. I know that this one was meant to be half, but you're going to have to chill. Chill, I said. I said chill. Okay, that really is just the hopping mind part one. But, okay, so over here, as you can he see, um, this one was kind of simple. It's um, kind of, I think that people call it two by two. I don't know, but so it's, this is a six block, um, two block wide, three blocks tall door. Now I'm gonna show, now I actually did cover up all of the redstone, so I'm gonna try to show you guys some of the redstone. So was it over here? Yeah, like, like I got some two pistons here, bunch of blah, blah, blah. Oh shoot, I just broke some redstone. I made a newt see. that it was here let's hope let's hope this thing will still work guys i might have just broke the door okay it still works no it doesn't okay, i'm gonna have to fix that later but um basically yeah that's how this door would normally work but um i don't get it this should be connecting hold up 
I don't know why this piston isn't powered. I'm going to have to fix that later. But you guys saw the point. And the next one, this one basically, all that you have to do is this. And you could put like a dispenser right here, anything that you guys want. And then bam, it's just going to like keep pushing out the redstone block. I always wanted to know how to do this, but then I saw it and yeah. So then I found out how to do it and I just decided that I should do it. So, next on the list, and oh, it's gonna rain. Come on. Come on, right in the middle of my redstone video. That is not cool. But basically, the way that this one works is I used another one of those over there, just so that way this will keep pushing out onto this redstone, leading it to here to keep lighting up. Now, the only reason why this works is because of these repeaters in the middle. And then basically what will happen is, so I made it kind of go like that, like those two ones go up first. But yeah, then this is how you make the hopping mine cart. So, um, yeah. By the way, you do not want to, like, stand in front of it or try to ride in one, because then you mess up the mine cart. It, like, starts getting on to other ones. So this was my other really cool door. Okay, I'm going to have to get you to chill. Uh, it still sounds annoying, but basically the way that this door works is it's meant to remove these um, It's the same door like the other one. It's meant to accept it's meant to remove these blocks The six blocks and then remove some more blocks behind it. So let's watch So yeah, like basically this one took a lot of work on redstone as you can see so basically it's gonna like get rid of these um, three blocks and then so I basically tried to make it like a TNT one off because if you also can see I kind of made it like that just disappeared also this block now I also have to cover it up more but yeah oh and here's the next one so this is how you make kind of like a bridge you can make it as far as you want you'll just have to use um, repeaters so let's say that I was just like, la la la, oh no. This is good for to put in front of your house just to like stop players or mobs. Then again, they can just like place blocks anywhere, so. But okay, so basically the way that this um, thing works is you're just gonna have like literally like the simplest um, bridge ever. You're just gonna put pistons here and then redstone on top of it same thing on the other side and then try to block it now the only thing that gives it away is i'd say this mm, you know because you could block all of this but you can't get rid of this because then only one side will um do that so yeah as you guys can see you just flick the lever and then bam the bridge opens up bam bam okay i think you guys get my point so and moving on to the next redstone hack is um wow we're buzzing through this quicker than i thought okay this is really getting quicker yet this took me like three days to build okay and this one this one i personally love so much so here you guys could barely see that so i'm gonna get a bed go to sleep and then make it stop raining and stop making it all dark out I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. Okay. So this one is personally my favorite. Really, it's pretty simple. You just have the redstone go around here on that block. Just so that way these two pistons, once you flick the lever, now the only problem is this gives it away. I mean, this you could like put over here or something. But, um, yeah, that's what kind of gives it away. But still, you flick the lever, then you open up to this. And then, bam. Yeah. And so those are kind of all of my hacks. I mean, like, that went by really fast. Guys, tell me if you want me to do a video where I show you, like, how to make some of these. Also, tell me if you guys would like to see more of me go into these redstone worlds. And, um, yes, just make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Literally, it's free. Just click on the subscribe button. I mean, it doesn't even matter if you watch the whole video. Just click that subscribe button. Okay, guys. Bye.